Hello everyone, welcome to our daily English news on Rahan Rabe Online TV. I am Muhammad Bulbul and here are today's our main top stories making headlines. Puntland state of Somalia sends Ethiopian refugees back to home from Garoue. Egypt and Somalia's joint military drills in Horn of Africa heighten tensions with Ethiopia. Somaliland parliament rejects immunity removal for outspoken MB Mohamed Abiy. Buntland state of Somalia sends Ethiopian refugees back home from Gorobe. The governor of Nugal, Abdurrahman Abshir, has announced that Ethiopian refugees in Gorobe will be sent back to their home country due to concerns about security, hygiene, and cultural interrogation. Governor Abdurrahman stated that international organizations are assisting in the construction of temporary shelters for the refugees while they await their repatriation. This decision comes at a time when security in Garobe has been tightened after the arrest of individuals suspected of being linked to Al-Shabaab fighters. A security official in Puntland expressed that Al-Qaeda linked group based in Somalia, Al-Shabaab, and ice eyes might explode the situation of these refugees to carry out security threats. Egypt and Somalia's joint military drills in Horn of Africa heighten tensions with Ethiopia. Egypt and Somalia are planning to hold joint military exercise in the Horn of Africa, a move that could heighten tensions with Ethiopia, according to security officials. The exercises are expected to take place this month will involve ground, air and naval forces. Although specific details regarding the start date, duration and number of the troops remain undisclosed, the drills are intended to send a strong message of Egypt and Somalia's commitment to cooperation and defense. This development follows Egypt's recent complaint to the UN Security Council of Ethiopia's unilateral actions related to the disputed water between Ethiopia and Egypt. The conflict between Egypt and Ethiopia over the Nile Dam has persisted for over a decade, with Egypt arguing that the dam threatens its vital share of the Nile waters. In a letter to the UN, Egypt emphasized it is concerned about Ethiopia's approach to negotiations, accusing Addis Ababa of using talkies as cover to establish a de facto situation on the ground. The announcement of the military trailers comes shortly after Egypt began deploying troops and military equipment to Somalia under a recent signed military cooperation agreement. Ethiopia has expressed a strong opposition, viewing the deployment as a destabilizing factor in the region. Egypt and Somalia's growing military partnership coincides with Ethiopia's controversial agreement with Somaliland, which Somalia views as a threat to its sovereignty. In response, Somalia has threatened to expel Ethiopian troops involved in peacekeeping missions within its borders unless the deal is revoked. Egypt's potential involvement in new peacekeeping forces in Somalia could further complicate relations, especially with the prospect of Egyptian troops being stationed in near Ethiopia peacekeepers. The situation risks escalating into the direct conflict between the two nations. The potential for hostilities between Egypt and Ethiopia adds to the instability already affecting the Horn of Africa and East Africa, including the ongoing civil war in Sudan and attacks on Red Sea shipping routes by Iranian hacked Houthis in Yemen. Somaliland parliament rejected immunity removal for MP Mohamed Abid. The Somaliland House of Representatives was presented today with a motion to remove the immunity of MD Mohamed Abib Yusuf, who was arrested yesterday. The motion, which was a part of an effort by President Musa Bihis, a government to remove Abib from the parliament, was rejected by a majority vote. Out of 57 MPs present, only three voted in favor of stripping Abib of his immunity, while 51 opposed the motion. 
and two abstained. The speaker did not participate in the vote. As a result, the government's plan to remove away from his parliamentary position has been effectively blocked. MB Abib was detained yesterday in Hargeisa and he is currently held at Mandera prison located between Hargeisa and Barbara. This prison, a relic from the era of a military rule, has historically been used to detain prominent political figures from Somaliland. Under the Somaliland constitution and laws, an MB cannot be arrested without first having their immunity removed. The urgency of the government's move to bring immunity removal motion to the parliament reflects the legal necessity, but the motion is available today, ensures that Abib remains a member of parliament despite his current detention. Thank you for your watching.